As children, many of us were taught that we shouldn't lie, and that lying reflects bad behavior. And if we were caught lying to our parents, to our teachers, or to other authority figures, we would get into trouble. And as we grew up, there seemed to be a fundamental moral principle behind the notion that we shouldn't lie because it's bad or because it's unethical. And this principle is actually reflected in many areas of life today, including our court system. Uh, for example, we have passed legislation that outlaws perjury um, or lying on the stand. But what if I told you that the police lie all the time? How would you feel about that? Does that information affect your perception of the police? Does it affect your level of trust in the police and your view of them as a legitimate authority? And these are some of the questions I seek to answer through my proposed study that will examine whether the use of sting operations have an effect on police legitimacy in communities today. In Trust and Legitimacy, Policing in the USA and Europe, Tyler describes legitimacy as being the belief that people have that the police are trustworthy and honest, and that the authority of the police should be acknowledged through following laws and obeying instructions. So traditionally, policing has been reactive, where police wait for someone to report a crime before they take action or launch into some sort of investigation. Sting operations, on the other hand, are a form of proactive policing, where police actively engage with the person they are targeting with the goal of apprehending them for committing a crime. So a sting operation, for example, could be when an officer disguises him or herself as an average citizen, sets up a local drug deal, and purchases, purchases drugs from the dealer, um, and then in turn arrests the dealer for violating drug laws. If it's easier for you to understand, um, sting operations can pretty much be understood as undercover work. And you might ask, why is this important? You know, why do we need to know about sting operations, about police legitimacy? But I can tell you that understanding these things is vital. If we were to give police the right to use lethal force to enforce the law, we need to be able to trust them with our lives. And as a result, it'd be important for the police to adhere to the ethical and moral concerns that we as citizens have regarding police tactics um, and police motives. So conducting research on whether sting operations affect perception and trust of police will allow us to gain valuable insight into public perception of police, uh, which can in turn help us in our attempts to improve policing. So in the end, it's very important to understand these concepts and whether a correlation actually exists. You know, if we seek to enhance legitimacy, if we seek to mend broken relationships between police and the communities in which they serve in, you know, we need to dive into the nitty gritty. We need to understand the forces that have caused distrust between law enforcement and community members. You know, if we deem that sting operations actually diminish legitimacy by creating, you know, this atmosphere of distrust, we can try to rid police departments of this tactic which may help in the rebuilding of police community relations. You know, in the end, I firmly believe that policing is ineffective on its own and that effective policing requires both good police tactics and cooperation from community members. And this is why this proposed study is so vital and would be beneficial to policing today.